Welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 in Cairo, Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today, Mr. Ehab Nasser, who is head of the payment systems for the Central Bank of Egypt. Mr. Nasser, welcome to the studio. Thank you. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, digital financial services and, and what role has the Central Bank of Egypt got in, uh, pr in promoting those and, and making those uh, accessible here in Egypt? Uh, digital financial services is one of the priorities that the Central Bank of Egypt is working on in, um, in the last three uh, years and in the upcoming three years. And we, we have identified that it is not like a single player that who can uh, uh, lead the work on the digital financial services. It is like a, a team uh, that should uh, play together in order to achieve this uh, target of the country. That's why uh, the country has uh, established the National Payment Council, which is headed by His Excellency, the President of uh, Egypt, Mr. Afatah SCC, and the uh, Central Bank of Egypt is, is a member in this uh, council. The council is responsible for the digital financial services uh, uh, boost uh, for, uh, for the economy as well. The country as well has uh, decided to establish the Supreme Council of Digital Financial Services, which is headed by His Excellency the Prime Minister, which proves that the country believes in the digital uh, transformation. Together, the central bank with all the related stakeholders in both uh, councils is working together to uh, make like a, a real framework or a real vision for how to transform Egypt into a less cash society. This is a, a very big framework which is considered our Bible for the next three years for the transformation into less cash society. I wanted to ask you from your perspective, what do you think w it will take for the world's poorest people to prefer digital financial services over cash? And do you think that digital financial services will be enough for this to happen? Uh, look, in Egypt, uh, l let's face the truth, in Egypt is a, is, um, a, a cash-based society, so we have like uh, many challenges and opportunity in this society to change it into a digital uh, into a less cash uh, society. So let's say that the first challenge from our studies is the trust. How can you gain the trust of the consumer in such digital financial tools? So we are focusing currently on the awareness. We have to increase the awareness. We have to make sure that the consumer understands these tools and make sure that uh, the, the trust is gained by uh, using these tools so that uh, our studies shows that if any untapped segment use one of these digital financial services and he gains the trust in this digital financial service, he will use it again. So first word is trust and uh, awareness in the, at the consumer level, not only at the consumer level, but only at the merchant level, because we have to convince this type of people to use such digital financial services in accepting uh, payments, which is a big challenge because it's not about that you are giving him a, a, a point of sale or a point of acceptance that he can uh, accept transactions on it only. You have to tackle issues like fees because merchants does not like to pay a lot of fees from this from their revenues as uh, for, for for accepting payments. You have to make like a 360 degree around this merchant to make sure that he is benefiting from this digital financial transformation. For example, giving. Uh, incentives to the merchant to, to use this dig digital financial service in accepting payments, giving him uh, loans so that he can increase the revenues of, uh, of, of, of his uh, industry. Let's also talk about the governments. What role can governments play to enhance the usage of digital financial services at the national level? At the national level, as I have told you, we have like a vision, a less cash transformation framework which consists of many uh, pillars that we are working on. One pillar is the financial market infrastructure where we are building uh, a lot of financial infrastructure because we are convinced that this will be the railway that will be used to go to this uh, target which is the less cash society. One other pillar is the legal and the regulatory framework <coughs> where we have uh, issued, uh, uh, not issued, where we are approved by the National Payment Council last October, the Lish Cash Transformation Law, which is a law that is going to incentivize the consumers and the citizens to pay their governmental pay in an electronic way and will uh, give incentives and motivate people to pay uh, in less cash. On another side, the Central Bank of Egypt is working as well on uh, inserting a new payment chapter <coughs> in the Central Bank Law. This payment chapter will uh, give a boost to the digital financial service. So 
we are playing uh, many roles, uh, working on many dimensions on the legal and regulatory framework from the financial market infrastructure. We are building infrastructure to make sure that this will be uh, the railway that will be used to achieve our target. And at the same way, on the other side, we are building many products. We have launched uh, MISA, which is the local payment national uh, card uh, scheme for Egypt, which will be uh, is in the pilot phase from December 2018 and will be officially launched in Feb. We are considering this as a very strong tool that will enhance the financial inclusion in Egypt. And we have plans to include like 20 million uh, new fresh uh, consumers into the financial sector using this tool. Ahab Nasser, thank you very much for joining us in the studio and we wish you the very best for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.